The ill-fated aircraft came to rest in the middle of Jilong River with its nose stuck in the riverbed, making the rescue operation difficult. Cranes were brought in to pull out the wreckage, an operation that took more than six hours in the middle of the night. At 9.20 Wednesday night, rescuers sounded a whistle, signaling that they had found a body. New Taipei Fire Department Chief Huang Deqing went to check the situation. An emergency notification of the body's discovery was made by wireless radio. After the victim's body was found, firefighters pulled back and police and forensics experts entered the wreckage. They took pictures, gathered evidence and surveyed the scene with their flashlights. As the plane seats were dismantled, more bodies were found. After midnight, the crane brought to the crash site prepared to raise the nose of the plane from the mud of the riverbed. The nose wheel was visible, but the rest of the plane's nose suffered unimaginable damage. It was completely fragmented and nearly impossible to recognize. Suddenly, the fragmented wreckage broke apart, stalling the hoisting operation. Work was restarted when the wreckage was secured. After the nose of the plane finally emerged, the bodies of the pilot, co-pilot and flight observer were found. To allow the crane to get near the riverbank, a floodgate had to be knocked down. Overall, efforts to hoist the plane's wreckage out of its watery grave lasted more than six hours overnight. Firefighters, civilian rescue teams, the military and the police all pitched in to the difficult rescue operation. They started up again after dawn, still searching for the 12 people yet to be accounted for.